Thank you, Jack. Get down in the dark with that one. This is the final outcome of the four acoustic guitars we've seen. This is completely solid. Yeah, absolutely. And how important is the shape? Because Julian thought earlier on that a solid bodied guitar, any yeah. any shape body would be um, all right. I think probably the quality of the wood has more to do with it. So the seasoning is yeah. as important as, yeah. as are the electronic side. I don't know if there's any any goodness in this wasted body, you know, and yeah. uh, contour body. I think there must be something in it. Mm -hmm. um, those pickups are very powerful. Now, can you say why there are two pickups? Um, this one here picks up a narrow sound in the strings. Mm -hmm. And this one, which is, I've gone through the middle position, which is both. Oh, yeah. This one is this one alone. It picks up the harsh tone. The strings seem very light compared to, say, that used by Packer. Uh, is this to facilitate the bending? Um, partly the, the reason is I've got very weak flesh on my fingers. Yeah. And the bending that I do, it would probably slice it up like a piece of yeah. cheese. You should have <laughs> some bending, see. Just um, it's quite a long way. Take a lot of the board, you know? Right, so that's the guitar. It's a very low action. The strings are fairly uh, close to the... It's not uncomfortably low. It, if it was any lower, it would ping, it would go like that. Yeah. All the time. I've seen certain guitars use this button. Yeah. Like you I didn't use it on this. This, I don't know, this is. That's a yeah. stroked up and down the string. And if you're really clever, you can do all sorts of things with it and play tunes. Do you have to retune much at all? Uh, some tune. people do tune to an E chord or yeah. maybe an open A, but I, I like to keep the guitar tuned. Um, regularly, the normal, so that I can change quickly back to the chords. Yeah. Okay, on the floor we have a vast selection of switches and gear. Can you go through what you, you use tonight? Um, this middle well, one, I think. This first. middle one is merely just an, a booster. It's a yeah. volume booster, and it enables me to play it to probably double the volume I wa was playing it. Just by, just by pressing it down, the right. button. Can uh, you? Sure. That is off now. It's normal, yeah. yeah. And when I press it... So that's for rhythm, and then when the, um, the lead breaks well, coming yeah. up, you would pass... If you, if you hit it at the right point during your solo, you can sustain a note. Yeah. So it's just switched mm -hmm. in and out according yeah. to what you can... And you've got sound. added tonal qualities by bass and treble. Yeah. The wah-wah is this This one? is a wah-wah, yes. Yeah. The, the most gimmicky thing, I suppose. Absolutely named. Now, all this, we wouldn't hear it unless we had an amplifier. No, that's so true. Can I take that's a true. brief look at that? How important is the size and shape? I've seen you in front of vast walls of gear. Oh, oh that's for that's large that. concerts. Yeah. And we've got to play to about 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. But this um, is big enough to record and do things like, you know, maybe small concert halls. Yeah. Or you can get the same record. range of effects and um, tonal quality. It's probably better. better. I mean, you know, with lots of amplifiers, you tend to spoil yeah. the but delicate qualities, if, if there are any, in the guitar. Well, some guitars use feedback. Now, I know this is caused by, depending where you stand yeah, in relation to the It's just a continuous speakers. cycle of sound. It builds up. I suppose it builds up in your string somewhere and feeds into the pickup. And, and the guitar continuous. has it got to be quite high? Uh, no, that. you can use it, um, that booster to get it lower and keep the cycle going. But could you possibly yeah, have it? Just hold your ears. You can control that. Yeah, you can, you can bend the note to it. <laughs> play tunes with it. So it's not only what you're doing with your hands, it's what you've set in the amplifier. Yeah, so well, you're in fact standing. Because if you move away, sometimes uh, the feedback goes. Well, you, oh, it's better with it's an acoustic electric guitar. Yeah. Um, they do make one with F holes and an acoustic body, and it, yeah. it seems to feed back a lot better. Yeah. This solid body restricts the feedback, because that was more desirable when they designed the guitar. Right. Uh, having been over here, I've seen this bag. Yeah. With the tube. Can you demonstrate that? Will you use it tonight? Use it in the next number? Yes. Right. What do you call it? Uh, it's just a bag. The bag. I won't tell you what's inside it. Okay, John. It's too simple. 
Yeah, I'm gonna throw the mic to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The sound comes up this tube, the guitar sound, nothing sound else. Guitar. Oh, it's yeah, there's no voice at all. It's just going into my, yeah. into my echo. <laughs> yeah. So you can bend you can the note and by speak. changing the, the cavity of the mode. Yeah, it's so better when you do a live concert. You can um, turn the mics up and pick up yeah. sort of um, vowel sounds and things. You can get SH, which is very hard to do unless you're a loud mic. Yeah. SH? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just the, the basic... If you bite noise. it too hard, you, you close the tube up and yeah. the sound is killed off completely. Are you the only person with um, one? I saw Stevie Wonder with one about four years ago. And I was lucky enough to bump into another guitar player who very kindly gave me this one. Yeah. And uh, I don't sort of scream about it because it's nice to have. Right. No, no one else has got one. Well, would you like to play something by the Beatles? Using the bag? Yeah, she's a woman, so we've got an arrangement we have to go. Jeff, thank you very much.